In this video, we'll talk about a new scripted action in Nerdio Manager for Azure Virtual Desktop that allows you to convert a desktop image VM to use a smaller uh, operating system disk. So by default, uh, you probably are aware that when you create a VM from an Azure Marketplace image, the default OS disk size is 127 or 128 gigabytes. And under that size, there's quite a bit of free space on the C drive. And what that means is when you're creating session hosts from a particular image that you spun up from the Azure Marketplace, the minimum size of those session host VM disks must also be 127 gigabytes. However, there's plenty of free space within those disks that can allow you to make them be smaller. For example, instead of a P10, which is a 128 gigabyte premium SSD disk, you may be able to use an e, uh, a P6 or an E6, which is a smaller size. It's about half the size of 64 gigabyte disk. And that will allow you to save on the storage costs even further of your session host VMs. Plus, it will allow you to use ephemeral OS disks on smaller VM instances because a uh, VM, uh, an ephemeral OS disk, must fit into the VM's disk cache. And the bigger the VM size, the more cache Azure allocates. Uh, so, in generally, if you want to use a typical marketplace image to provision and an ephemeral OS disk VM, you must use at least an 8-core D-series or E-series VM, which has sufficiently large disk cache of 200 gigabytes to fit the 128 gigabyte image that you created from the marketplace. However, if you wanted to use a 4-core VM because it only comes with 100 gigabytes of disk cache, you cannot do that because it doesn't fit the 128 gigabyte image that comes from the marketplace. So to uh, create more flexibility, what we've done is we created a scripted action under Azure Runbooks called Shrink OS Disk. And this scripted action is designed to reduce the C drive, the OS disk of a desktop image VM down to 64 gigabytes or really any other size that may be appropriate. So if you take a look at this scripted actions, there is some uh, description up here that explains what it does. Uh, it works with Windows 10 only, it doesn't work with Windows 7. Uh, and you can actually specify the disk size that you want to use. If you wanted to customize the scripted action, you can clone it and actually change the target disk size. In our case, we will do 64 gigabytes. So if we go to desktop images, we can see I have several desktop images here. Most of them started in the Azure Marketplace. And I have this one called development. And as you can see, it's using an E10, which is 128 gigabyte standard SSD. And what I would like to do is I would like to reduce that image, uh, that VM OS disk size to 64 gigs. So what I'm gonna do is go to run script I'm going to select an Azure Runbook called Shrink OS Disk, and I will simply click OK. And that is going to trigger a scripted action that's going to reduce the size of this VM down to actually an E6, which I've done here on this golden image. Now, important note is once this process is done, and you can see it's running right now, it's going to take uh, a little while for it to complete. But once it's done, this VM will be powered on and you must click this power off and set as image button to commit those changes to a new version of an image. Once you do that, the image will be 64 gigabytes rather than 128 gigabytes. And once you do that, when you go to create the host pool, you'll see, let's go ahead and create a new dynamic host pool. Uh, and then let's select our uh, golden image where I changed the disk size from 128 to 64. And now you can see that I can select smaller disk sizes as my OS disk for the session hosts. In addition, if I select a four core D-series VM, I now have the option 
to use an ephemeral OS disk because now it fits within a 100 gigabyte disk cache. Now, if I were to use a different image, like for example, the one we are currently trying to shrink, like this one, and I still selected a D4 VM, you will see that the ephemeral OS disk is not available to me because the disk cache is 100 gigabytes and my image size is at a minimum 128. So therefore I can't do that. And that is the reason why it's very convenient to sometimes shrink your OS disks down to a smaller size. Now, a really important note is both on performance and free disk space. If you are going to be using personal desktops and giving your users the ability to make changes to the C drive, a 64 gigabyte C drive does not provide with a ton of free space, very little free space beyond the operating system and applications for users to actually generate any additional data or install apps. So be very careful because that means users can run out of space. This can also apply to session hosts that are not personal, but that have a lot of applications installed on them. Be sure that there's plenty of free space available on the C drive so you don't run out of space and don't cause the session host VM to crash. And then finally, keep in mind that the smaller the disk size is, the lower the performance that Azure provides in terms of IOPS and, uh, and throughput. This doesn't apply to ephemeral disks. Those are generally SSD based and they're fast regardless of the size. But if you're using standard SSD or even premium SSD, a 64 gigabyte disk will have lower performance characteristics than a 128 gigabyte disk as an example. I hope you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Thank you.